crafty friends Rebecca here with you I am mama 24 I'm back with you today with another polka doodles design team video this time I used polka doodles stencils stamps and papers to make these two cute little birthday cards here for two of my nephews who happen to be only nine days apart so usually when I make birthday cards for them I make them the same because we usually celebrate their birthdays together I did not film the Copic coloring process for this time around but I will share with you all the products that I used from polka doodles and the products that aren't polka doodles just in case you are interested in what I use to create them and all of the products that I can, I will link down below. Be sure to give polkadoodles.co.uk a look-see and see what they have on their website. They have great digital products for purchase as well as physical products, which is what I worked with today. So I'm going to show you the products I used from Polka Doodles first. The stamp set that I used is a Rocco Fly a Kite and that is the stamp there so it's a clear polymer cling stamp i also used for the happy birthday greeting this very versatile set here this one is called perfect wishes and for the paper i used all about the dudes six by six paper pad these are all the patterns of paper that you get in the pack of paper different from other paper pads you get three of each design rather than two. Another great thing about the Polka Doodles paper pads is that they're not actually pads. They are separate papers, so there's no branding strip at the top, and there's none of that glue making you cut away usable paper. All right, also from Polka Doodles, I used some stencils. First up is the Cloudy Landscape stencil, and this one has the one side with like the stitching and then the other side of the clouds you have polka dots i mixed them on my card today and i also used the grass stencil this is a really great one and this one is called grass lawn stencil they're very similar i mounted the rocco and the happy birthday onto my misty and I stamped them onto some Copic friendly paper. While my stamp was still in the Misty, I stamped a mask because I knew I wanted to have some stenciling around Rocco. This is the stamping mask paper that I use. This is by Inka Dinka Doo. And I stamped everything in black with the Gina K Amalgam ink. This is a Copic friendly and water color friendly ink. And then for the stenciling, the green, I used the oxides. This is the mode lawn. And for the cloudy sky, I used the tumbled glass. This is the first one I attempted and I used my blender brushes. I went pretty heavy handed. And then with the second one, I stenciled it considerably lighter. And I like the way the lighter one turned out better than the darker one. You can see the little stitches that the cloud stencil makes and here at the bottom I used the polka dot and of course this is the grass stencil. I just pulled it down for the second layer to give it some depth to the grass. Once I had the stenciling all done I pulled up the mask, put it onto my next card and used the same mask to cover up Rocco. Did my stenciling a little bit lighter this time. After pulling off the masking paper, I was ready to Copic color. The Copic colors I use for Rocco's hair are Darkest to Lightest, E44, E42, and E40. For the yellow in the kite, I used Y18 and Y13 as the lightest. The red on his sneakers and the kite I used R24 and the lighter one is R43. For his skin, I used from darkest to lightest E11, E01, E000, and E quadruple zero. Then for the white of his socks and his little shirt stripes, I used C0 and the darkest one C3. For his little jean shorts, the dark patch is B39, and then the jean shorts are B95 
and B21. And then for his shirt, I only ended up using one yellow marker and I really, really like the way that turned out. That is using the Y11 Copic sketch marker. So there's just a quick look at the coloring and the stenciling of the card. I popped it up onto some black cardstock just to mat and to pull in the black a little bit. Put it on some foam tape. From the paper collection, I used, it almost looks like blackboard with uh, doodling on it. And there's my scraps from two of the six by six papers. I cut it to fit my A5 card base. So that is what is on the background there on both of the cards. And then I use the scrap on the inside just to frame it out a little bit. Super cute paper. And this is what the darker one looks like. Right, just very, very similar. And then of course, I stamped my hand crafted on the back of both of them. Two cute little birthday cards ready to go for my nephews for their birthday party. Again, all the links to the products that I used in today's cards will be linked down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will be back with you in another crafty video soon. Bye-bye, everybody.